The edge of the face mesh here, you can see, is super sharp. There's no blending between the mask and my face. So to solve that, we need to import another texture. In this case, we're going to import this one, which is also included in the face reference assets we just downloaded. So drag that into the assets and click on the matte face to select this. Now, face paint materials don't have any additional alpha channel options in the settings here. If we switch over to a flat material, you can see here it says alpha. We can enable this and use the mesh mask image to soften that. So what this is doing is using the alpha channel of that image for the alpha channel of this material, thus blending this whole edge of the mask. To add an alpha channel to the face paint material, we're going to have to hop into the patch editor. To do that, click this little arrow next to the texture. This opens the patch editor and makes a patch for this texture. So dragging in this face masculine image makes a node for that, or a patch. If I drag the RGBA directly in, nothing happens because it's essentially doing what we were doing before. The color information is going straight into this texture and there's no alpha on the edge because there's no alpha here. Bringing in this texture, this does contain alpha. You can see on this preview how it, it's gray here and white here. The gray is zero alpha. If we select this, you can see it's black here, which means the alpha is one, so it's not transparent, but the black is there, where the gray is transparent. So you can see the difference between those two. So with this, we can see there's the red, green, blue, and alpha channels of this, red, green, blue only in this middle node, and then just the alpha here. So this is gonna be a little technical, but it should make sense. So we need to take the red, green, and blue from here and the alpha from here and put it into here. To do that, we can drag from the RGB and make an unpack patch. This takes that one input that has three values and breaks them apart. And now with this alpha, we just need to put it all together. So we can right click and pack all of this together. Now with this, there's only three options, but we can change that to a vector four, so that will include our alpha. So if we take the X, which is the red, the green, and the blue, and even if it's black and white, each channel still contains all that information, and then grab the alpha from here, we should get a blending here on the face paint texture. 